It's almost impossible to know exactly how much frosting you'll need, so when you have leftovers, try one of these ways to use them. With just a few spoonfuls of leftover frosting, you can pipe a beautiful border. Scoop it up and spoon it into a piping bag fitted with any star-shaped tip or a round tip, and add pretty textured detail to the bottom or the top of the cake. The smaller the piping tip and the smaller the cake, the less frosting you'll need. At the bottom of the cake, you'll cover up any air gaps or imperfections between the cake and the cake board, or if you pipe a border onto the top of the cake, you'll give the cake some height and make it look more elegant. You can repurpose leftover frosting by tinting it another colour. I recommend gel colours because they're much more concentrated than liquid colours, so you'll make brighter, bolder colours. Add the gel a drop at a time to make the colour you want to frost or decorate another cake. For any of these ideas, by the way, you can do them straight away or store the frosting for up to two months, and I'll show you how later in this tutorial. Piped flowers can be frozen for future cakes, and all you need is a flower nail, a little piece of parchment paper, and a petal tip. These are a really pretty finishing touch for the side or the top of a cake. Slide the piped flowers on their parchment paper onto a tray and put them in the freezer until you're ready to use them to decorate a cake. Some decorative details only need a tiny amount of frosting, like stencils, so this is a great way to use up that last little bit of frosting. If you want to take your cake decorating to the next level, check out my online cake school, where I have hundreds of cake designs and techniques, and a club membership where you get access to every master course, mini course, and live workshop. You can visit by clicking up here or go to BritishGirlBakes.com. Mini cakes only need a teeny tiny amount of frosting, and for a really quick option, you can make a cake using cupcakes as the layers, like I did for this one. So if you only have a little bit of leftover frosting, you can practice new cake decorating techniques or make someone a thoughtful gift with one of these adorable mini cakes. I teach how to make these on my cake school as well. If you don't want to bake anything, use a cake dummy to practice smooth frosting or any decorating techniques. Cake dummies are styrofoam rounds that come in different sizes, and after you finish practicing, you can wash the frosting off and reuse the dummy to practice another technique. Make a dessert with your leftover frosting like a cake sundae. Grab a tall glass and put in some cake scraps from domed cake layers you've trimmed or offcuts from sheet cakes. And then alternate with leftover frosting, and if you really want to make it decadent, add layers of ice cream too. These make a romantic dessert for two or an indulgent treat for yourself. Did you know that you can decorate cookies with buttercream? Buttercream is much less temperamental than royal icing, and is very easy to pipe. Put the buttercream in a Ziploc bag, cut off a corner, and then squeeze it to pipe zigzags to cover up the cookie. You can smooth these with an offset spatula if you want to make smooth frosting. Add sprinkles, edible glitter, or coloured sugar to make the cookies even more eye-catching. If you bake the cookies on a paper straw, you can poke the straw into a cake and use these as cake toppers. If you don't want to use the leftover frosting straight away, you can save it for later. Buttercream can be stored for up to two months with this method. Put it in a Ziploc bag, seal it, and freeze it. You can store it in the fridge for two weeks if you prefer. When you take it out, leave it for a few hours to thaw, and then you can cut a hole in one corner and it's easy to squeeze the buttercream into a piping bag to use for decorating. Then you can use it for any of the techniques I've shown you in this tutorial. You can also use the Ziploc bag as the piping bag if you want to write a message, for example. Storing buttercream is really useful for black and red buttercream, which take a lot of time and gel to make, so I store even small amounts of leftovers to use for future cakes, when having those colours ready to go will save a lot of time. Storing frosting is useful even for a few spoonfuls, because sometimes you just need a little bit of a certain colour for a design. So, instead of tinting it from scratch, you can just pull it out of the fridge or freezer when you need it. You can, of course, store plain white buttercream too, not just colours, so I like to make double batches of my 4-minute buttercream, which is the biggest batch that will fit in my mixer, and then I store what I don't need until I make another cake. You'll need a big, gallon Ziploc bag to fit an entire batch of buttercream, and once it thaws, you can cut off a corner and squeeze it out into a bowl, ready to use. I hope you found these ideas useful. Share any of your ideas with everyone in the comments. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.